Hi there, welcome at this video about the uh, Cisco top roof on my 1975 Oldsmobile Delta 88. I have a problem with it, it has been working rough a bit for a time and slow. And now one of the cables snapped, the one on the uh, passenger side. You can see it's broken. Oops, that's the top going off. It is fixed onto the gear over here and it's broken off. Now, to be able to repair this, this, you have to remove the back seat, which is not a big problem. The lower one, you just push it a bit to the back and then you can lift it out of the brackets here at the bottom. So push it back, lift it up and then you can remove it. The back one, you have to unscrew the uh, seat belts on the right and on the left side. And then also you have to lift it up, push it back a bit and then lift it up out of these brackets. It's three brackets, one on the side, one on the middle and one on the other side. And then you can remove it. As I've been saying, the uh, the roof was working a little bit rough and, and slow and so on. And now when I removed the back seat, I noticed that somebody has already put in a new relay. Which is good, of course. But the, these connections here, they are very weak. And so the current going through there will have some, some, some problems. And that, I think, is the reason why the stop was working so slow. It, because the motor cannot get enough current to move efficiently. So I'll be fixing this, but I will be looking for a way to keep the original connectors, which I'm glad the previous owner did. Never change stuff like that on an old car uh, like this. Keep it all as original as possible. Maybe I can just find another relay with the correct uh, connectors and it's all fixed. Now, about the cable that snapped uh, with me, it's the one on the passenger side, which you can see here. So it's go it goes here through a hole into the trunk, through the trunk, underneath the, the back where the roof is sitting in. And then it comes up back here. That's, this is the one. And you can just unscrew it here. and unscrew it there, replace it and make some adjustments and your roof is fixed. Of course you have also a cable like that on the other side, it's the blue one, which is fixed here, going that side through a hole into the trunk underneath the back where the roof is sitting in, up to the gear, same as on the passenger side. So it's the blue one for the uh, uh, driver's side and it's the black one for the passenger side. That's it, I think. I will be replacing uh, those cables. I think I will replace them both uh, because yeah, it's, it's pretty old. So uh, the other one will snap in, in, in a short time, I think. So it's better to do them both. And I'll have a look to fix these connections or uh, put in an, uh, an original relay if I can find it. And uh, then it will be working again. Okay, success repairing your uh, scissor top roof on uh, General Motor cars. So this is a common roof for uh, Oldsmobile, Chevrolet, Pontiac, Cadillac, uh, all those cars. So uh, the, the principle is always the same for these cars. Uh, and then we're talking about uh, construction years, let's say about 70 up, up until 76. Okay, bye.